This DIY tutorial by Heather Wolf Smith is brought to you by CollagePet.com. Hey, fashion lovers! This is Heather with HeatherWolfSmith.com, and this is Fashion Frenzy. Oh man, I need help. The show where I teach you how to create, alter, or embellish your own DIY fashion, so you can be you. Let's get started with Fashion Frenzy. Today's fashion frenzy is how to make a scarf out of an old t-shirt, just like this. All you'll need is an old t-shirt and a pair of scissors. Let's get started. First you want to cut off everything from the sleeves up. Since I have a pocket on my t-shirt, I'm going to start at the bottom of, of that pocket. If you don't have a pocket, start right at the armpit. And I'm just going to cut from one end to the other. Try to make it as straight as you can. This part of the t-shirt is extra. Some people have made headbands out of the sleeves. You can hang on to it for another project. We're going to set it aside for right now. Before you start cutting your strips, you want to cut off the bottom edging of the t-shirt. So I'm just going to go right to that edge and cut that piece off. Now that you've cut off the top of your t-shirt and the bottom trim of the t-shirt, you're ready to get started actually cutting the strips for the scarf. You're going to give about a two finger width space, you want two finger width width, and you're going to cut across. So I've just finished cutting all of my strips of fabric and the last piece that I cut was actually too skinny. I wanted them all to be even so this is the extra. I can still use this to actually make this part right here on the scarf that wraps it all together and hides any seams. So what you want to do is take each piece and stretch it all the way out. Since this is a jersey knit, it doesn't have any fraying and when you pull it, it rolls itself and makes a nice curve. I'm going to continue doing this technique on all the pieces that I have left and then I will put them together and then once you have them all finished you're ready to put your scarf on. I have one more left. Now I'm going to take all of the pieces and straighten them out. Put, put them side by side. Okay. If any of them did not get stretched to the same length, just give it another few tugs. This is the extra piece that I had left over. It was too skinny, so I'm going to use it for this next step. If you didn't have any extra, you can actually cut from the original part of your t-shirt and cut a little strip. So I'm just going to cut this strip so it's open, and I'm just going to wrap it around. This is just a nice way to give a, a, a little decorative piece in the middle of your scarf. You're going to tie these two pieces together and cut off the extra. Ta da! You can add any embellishments to this. I've put on a little brooch on mine today. Sometimes I'll switch it out for different colors, contrasting colors, just a different way to spice it up. Now you're ready to put your scarf on. When I put mine on, I usually put this embellishment piece on the side of my neck, and then I just wrap. You can wrap twice for a long scarf, or you can wrap three times for a shorter scarf. Ta-da! 
Ta-da! Thanks for watching this episode of Fashion Frenzy. For more DIY projects, check out heatherwolfsmith.com. Until then, stay crafty. This DIY tutorial by Heather Wolf Smith is brought to you by CollagePet.com, where we turn your pet's photos into a one-of-a-kind work of art that will blow your mind. Check them out at CollagePet.com.